1914 in Belgium. Captain Renz intended to wait for the attack of the Allied forces at the Isar Bridge during World War I, but Hercule Poirot suggests they attack within seven minutes while hidden by a wave of gas to keep the enemy from seeing them. Following Poirot's lead, the soldiers launch a successful attack on the Central Powers. Poirot accidentally trips a bomb that detonates on the bridge, killing Renz and injuring several soldiers in addition to Poirot. Poirot is awoken in the hospital by Catherine, his nurse and love interest. He turns around to reveal his disfigurement from the explosion, to which Catherine simply suggests that he grow a mustache. He protests that she shouldn't have come but she insists that she loves him. 1937 in London. Poro attends a jazz singer Salome Otterbein performance at a nightclub. Rosalie, her niece, deals with the pretentious maitre d' and secures her payment. A young couple named Simon and Jackie are dancing while Salome sings on the dance floor. Then Jackie's friend and wealthy heiress Lynette Ridgway stops by the club. Before they get married, she catches up with Jackie and asks her if she can offer Simon a job. Following Jackie's introduction, Simon and Lynnet dance together with at least as much passion as Simon did with Jackie, as Jackie watches uncomfortable. Poro is in Egypt six weeks later and is enjoying tea and a cake while sitting by the Sphinx when he notices a man flying a kite on the pyramid. When he realizes it's his old friend Book, he starts to reprimand the man. He brings Poirot to meet his mother Euphermeyer because he is overjoyed to see Poirot. She is unimpressed by meeting Poirot and concentrates more on the pyramid she is painting. Poirot is accompanied by Book to the First Cataract Hotel where they attend a celebration in honor of Simon and Linnet, a newlywed couple. Euphermeyer, Salome, Rosalie, Lynette's godmother Marie Van Scullia, her nurse Mrs. Bowers, her cousin Andrew Kachadrian, who manages her will, and Dr. Linus Windlesham, a former lover of Lynette, are all in attendance. Book explains to Poirot that although Lynette is wealthy and Marie leans toward communism, Mrs. Bowers and Louise both lust after Lynette's wealth. While Lynette is the only one who can be trusted, Andrew is a slippery fish. Jackie's unexpected appearance, which has been happening ever since Simon dumped her for Lynette, dampens the party. While exploring the area, Lynette and Simon come across Poirot and ask him to look into Jackie because Lynette feels uneasy and worried about her persistent stalking of them. Poirot meets Jackie and tells her that Lynette has always had an effect on her. Lynnet was cast instead of Jackie in the school play Antony and Cleopatra by their teacher. Jackie is carrying a 22 caliber gun in her bag and thinks Simon still loves her. Poro informs Lynnet and Simon of this information and advises them to return home and begin their lives, but Simon chooses an alternative course of action. The following day, Simon invites the visitors to continue the celebrations on his yacht, the SS Karnak. Later, Lynette discovers Poirot in his room and informs him that she does not have confidence in any of the visitors. Poirot witnesses Andrew approaching Lynette to obtain her signature for the purchase of property, which displeased Mrs. Bowers. Rosalie adds her two cents, causing Andrew to withdraw. Later that evening, while the visitors are having fun, Boop tells Poirot during their conversation that Rosalie is the love of his life and that he is in a relationship with her, but he is waiting for his mother's approval. Additionally, he acknowledges Poirot's attraction to Salome and exhorts Poirot to find love. Later, the group makes a stop at Arby Symbol. Euphermeyer expresses her disapproval when Boop tries to tell her about his relationship with Rosalie while they are there. He is content that he is no longer motivated to conceal his feelings for her. Poro converses with Salome, who informs him that he is disguised. Soon after they begin dating, a boulder is about to fall on Simon and Lynette, 
almost crushing them. Soon after, a sandstorm forces the visitors to seek shelter. Once everything has calmed down, they reboard the boat and discover Jackie has arrived. She has a paid ticket to board, according to Simon, so they are powerless to intervene. Simon and Linnet invite the guests to dinner as they prepare to depart the following morning. After drinking some champagne, Poro becomes queasy. When he steps outside, Jackie is there, and the two of them are discussing their failed relationships. Poro says that the loss of Catherine, who perished in an explosion, is what transformed him into the person he is today. Jackie discovers Simon and Lynette teasing her about how many times they had intimate encounters that day after Poirot has gone to bed. Following Lynette's bedtime, an argument between Simon and Jackie causes Jackie to reach for her gun and shoot Simon once in the leg. She throws the gun to the side in embarrassment at what she has done. While Windlesham attends to Simon's leg, Mrs. Bowers attends to Jackie as she begins to scream. Louise enters the couple's room the following morning and screams in terror. It is believed that Lynette was murdered in her sleep because she is dead with a bullet wound to the head. Lynette was also wearing a priceless jewel necklace, which has since been taken. Jackie is the main suspect, but Mrs. Bowers maintains that she never left the bed while it was night time. Simon cries out in pain after seeing his wife's body. Following the removal of Lynette's body, Poirot is assisted in questioning the visitors by Simon and Book. Louise introduces herself first and tells the men that she was previously engaged and was going to leave Lynette's employment after getting married. But Lynette forced her fiancé to call off the engagement after she offered to pay off his debts as a test of his love for her. After learning of Lynette's engagement, Windlesham confesses to Poirot and Book that he still harbored feelings for her and had considered committing suicide. He was the first Lord Windlesham, but he wanted to work with people. When Andrew is questioned by the men, he admits that the contracts he had in mind would have cost Lynette money and her estate. Additionally, a 45 caliber gun is seen being carried by Andrew. Book then brings in Marie and Mrs. Bowers for questioning. Mrs. Bowers' wealthy family was forced off their land by Lynette's family during the Great Depression, it is revealed. Shortly after, Marie's missing scarf is found wrapped around Jackie's gun which is later revealed to have a bullet hole in it. Not including the bullet Jackie used to shoot Simon, the gun has two missing rounds. Salome tells Poirot that Lynette and she did not get along at first because Lynette once complained about being in a pool with Salome, a woman of color, as a result of Lynette's poor upbringing by her awful father, but that they later got along quite well. Additionally, Salome is seen with a gun similar to the one Jackie had. Declaring that she discovered Lynette's necklace in her room, Euphemire interrupts. In a confrontation that follows his investigation of Euphemire's room, Poirot confesses that Euphemire hired him to spy on Rosalie to determine whether or not she was truly good for Book. Rosalie is upset by Poirot's revelation that she is a good person for Book and reprimands him. Although he pursues her, they soon find Louise's body in the water wheel. A scalpel that was missing from Windlesham's collection of knives had cut open her throat, and money is also discovered on her person. In order to protect themselves, the guests lock themselves in their rooms after Poirot notices blood splatter on a wall that is only partially obscured by a potential Louise. Murder Witness Following one more interview with Simon, Poirot starts questioning Book, who is shocked to learn that his friend is making accusations against him. He believes that Lynette was found dead by Book, and that he is the one who stole her necklace and had it placed in Euphemire's room to frame her and set him and Rosalie free. Book threw his coat into the river because it was stained with Louise's blood because he had seen her try to bribe the murderer before she was killed. 
Before he can say what or who he saw, Book is shot in the throat and killed. With the assistance of the crew, Poro locks the guests in the bar after pursuing the assailant unsuccessfully and prepares to put the killer in their place. Andrew pushed the boulder that nearly killed Simon and Linnet, and Poirot is aware of this. Which, though he acknowledges, was a desperate act, he insists he did not kill anyone. It is revealed that Simon, who was working with Jackie, the organization's brains behind everything, killed Linnet. They intended for Simon to wed Linnet and inherit her wealth after she passed away. After Jackie shot Linnet with a blank, he shot himself in the head with a real gun and covered the sand with Marie's scarf. Additionally, he took some red paint from Euphemire to pretend to be hurt before shooting himself. Simon destroyed the firearm, but Louis served as a witness. Because Simon gave her a signal just before he could reveal Jackie's identity, Jackie killed her and then killed Book. Realizing they are being observed, the two lovers point a gun at the visitors because they have no other choice. Before shooting Simon in the back and having the bullet strike both of them, Jackie gives him one last kiss. They then pass away in each other's arms. As the guests disembark, Windlesham announces that he will continue his work in Africa. Salome also admits to Poirot that she had an interest in him. Euphemeyer and Rosalie still have a bad opinion of Poirot but are grateful that he was able to catch Book's killer. Salome is performing at the same nightclub in London six months later. Poirot attends and watches Salome perform while shaving his mustache to reveal his scars. We are deeply grateful for your interest in our most recent video, Death on the Nile 2022. We sincerely hope that it was informative and enjoyable for you. If you're interested in learning more about the subject or purchasing the featured product, we invite you to visit the link in the video description below. By using our affiliate link, not only will you be supporting our channel, but you also be eligible for exclusive discounts and promotions on the product. This is a fantastic opportunity that we highly recommend you take advantage of.